my bias in songwriting is to um, is to try and stick to one idea, um, like with a song, rather than kind of pull in too many different. It's the graphic designer in me. I just kind of like the minimalist kind of simplicity, really going deep with one idea. And so I've always wanted to write a song, like a, an, an up kind of praise, energetic song that just really celebrates the resurrection. I mean, the resurrection is the cornerstone of, of the Christian faith. Like it's, it's the linchpin moment. And I've always wanted to uh, write a song that was just about that one thing. Yeah, towards the end of the, the, the rehearsal for Laura's wedding, just started mucking around with this kind of little riff and um, it's just one of those crazy moments where just, you know, in a rehearsal that was for another thing, just these words just started spilling out, you know. In about half an hour, the song just kind of came together. Like, I believe in praise. Like, I believe in, in kind of moving your body and, and getting into it. Like, we enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. So, whatever kind of God has planned for us on any given day, any given Sunday, any given service, the way we enter into that is through praise. It's, it's, it's we rejoice to enter into joy, not the other way around. So the, the feeling follows the action. The thing I love about Resurrection as a, as a, as a praise song is that um, it's, it's, it's so doable in a, in a stripped back context. You don't need a big band uh, with three electric guitars and all this kind of stuff to, to get energy from it. You know, just, a, just an acoustic and someone stomping their foot, like it, it, you get energy from it in that context. So it's one of those songs that whether you're a small church or you're a home group, or you can use what you've got in your hand and still get energy and life and vibrancy from it. That's what I love about the song.